hey you guys welcome back to my channel so this video is going to be in defense of dating apps because the head is weird okay <laughs> now people act as if you know dating online was so much worse than dating in real life which really in my opinion and experience it isn't like half of the couples in the u.s today met online now granted online doesn't necessarily mean you know tinder bumble hinge it could be someone sliding in your dm on ig or twitter and by 2040 i believe half of the couples in the uk would have met online as well so in this one first of all i'm gonna you know debunk or try attempt to debunk you know the myths that i believe the three things that i believe people say the most about dating app that i don't necessarily think are true or if they are they just apply to dating in general and then at the very end i'm going to give my tips you know dating in 2023 sucks someone don't pee in the pool i say this all the time most men are not worth partnering psychopaths sociopaths <laughs> I wholeheartedly believe this you guys I wholeheartedly believe that 70% of men are just no worth partnering anyways but you know let's just <laughs> stay positive now the first thing that people say a lot about dating apps you know friends and just here on YouTube there are a lot of videos about this that you know it's full of nerds of men that are really you know weird and stuff like that socially inept and I don't necessarily disagree yes you will find a lot of those online but here's my thing right does that disqualify them for love you guys like i am very iffy about this because i feel like once we try to categorize people and say such and such people are not worthy of love it becomes dangerous right i think that if we are self-aware we can all recon a time where we were a little bit you know socially anxious i know that i have been plenty socially anxious in my life so does someone being a little bit socially anxious does that disqualify him from being a potentially good partner i don't know i'm asking you guys but i feel like this is a slippery slope if we begin here then what is the next group is it far people is it do are you guys catching my drift like i feel this is a dangerous uh, place to be at now the second thing that people say a lot about dating apps is that you know they are very superficial that you know you have to be attractive and stuff like that which again i do not disagree with but this applies to real life as well you guys like attractive people have a hands up in real life dating as well you know if you are very attractive most likely you know your friends are going to have a lot of their friends ask them if they can set you up you know with them if you go to the supermarket if you go to the bar if you go somewhere you know men are most likely a lot of men are going to approach you like this is true for real life dating as well so i don't see like why is tinder getting all the heat like why are dating apps getting all the heat like again true but true everywhere okay now the final thing i'm going to discuss or address in this video is how people say that a man on tinder especially but also bumble hinge online in general are just looking you know to do the deeds you know to get physical and stuff like that again i don't disagree necessarily but when you go to the supermarket right let's say you're in the cheese aisle or the wine aisle or wherever you are and a guy approaches you do you genuinely believe he's trying to find out if you grew up with your dad in your life are you that gullible <laughs> now sis okay he's also trying to get into your pants like i mean he may take you on a date and then find out oh you actually have a really interesting personality and then want to get to know you but initially he's also just trying to get into your pants so this is true as well for you know men who approach you just randomly in the street first of all second of all i actually think that online men are bolder which i personally feel it's a good thing because like they reveal the intention very very quickly if a man is just looking for one night stand because you know online they are bolder they're gonna say quick you know they're gonna reference something extra very very quickly and then you're just gonna be able to block and move on like i feel this is a good thing right and the last thing that i'm going to address i i feel is a pro from online dating to real life dating is that i feel like online you can meet a lot of people that you would not necessarily meet offline if that makes sense right somebody could be close to you or they could be 
you know taking a commute similar to yours and stuff like that but you never ever get to see them in real life maybe because they take the next train or the train before and you could be really compatible with them but you could never meet them right and online is giving you i guess this chance to meet someone that you could have never met in real life but with whom you're genuinely compatible you know i feel like the men that you meet offline are the same men that you meet online in my opinion and experience you know i see guys at my gym I see them on Tinder, I see them at my gym, you know, <laughs> like I've seen people at the supermarket that I've seen online. So I just don't feel like there is this big difference between, you know, I mean, this man exists in real life. It, it's not making sense. Y'all let me know what you think. But every time that people talk about men online as if they were these special species, I'm just like, sis, you, you understand these people exist offline, right? You, you, you get that, don't you? It's not making sense. It's, it's not making sense to me. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I'm, now I'm going to share like the tips that I have that I feel, you know, are helpful while dating online because you, you're going to need boundaries. Okay? <laughs> Period. Right? Like, you, you're going to need boundaries. Okay? <laughs> and the first one is well-lit pictures. Ladies, this is so important, right? We need good lighting. So many women don't have or people men have terrible lighting listen invest in a ring light from amazon for 30 bucks if you have to but you need well lit pictures or go outside you know ask for a friend to come with you and go hiking or at a restaurant to a bar to a coffee shop and then let your friend take pictures of you you know you catch my drift well lit pictures so important Second thing, a bio. Now, obviously, do not write, you know, your entire life, but, you know, write a little something, something about you. I find that, you know, people who have something on their bio tend to be more serious, you know, are looking for a more long-term serious relationship. So, you know, write a little bit something, something about you. Again, avoid writing negative stuff. I feel like, you know, this is the first encounter that someone is having with you, so you don't necessarily want to come across as negative so i feel like avoid you know i don't like xyz avoid capital letters because capital letters come across as yelling in real life avoid you know i personally i also don't write stuff like no one night stand and stuff like that because what is understood doesn't need to be explained you know if you know that you know that you know that you're not gonna sleep with this man there is no need for you to write it on your profile you know i always found that people who write stuff like this are trying to convince themselves more than the other person. This is my personal belief about this. You know, make sure that you don't only have, you know, selfies, dirty mirror selfies. Make sure you have pictures outside. You know, you wanna portray the fact that you are somebody who has a social life, somebody who is fun, you know, and fun to be around. So, you know, have pictures of you out eating in bars, in cafes, have pictures of you out, you know, partaking in one of your hobbies, maybe it's hiking or whatever else, but you wanna show that, you know, that you are a well-rounded human being, somebody that has friends, somebody that go outside, you know, somebody that has friends who will take pictures of them like that. <laughs> all you do is not stay at home all day and take selfies of yourself, even or that's what most of us do all the time right <laughs> you know and i'm also wanted to touch on don'ts like what i find again these are personal preferences you guys this is so important to say this is an opinion based video right but i personally swipe left on these men okay men that have nudity on their profiles i don't care if it's partial nudity you know i don't care if it's only the torso it's a no for me usually you know these men are very fit and that's nice and they're trying to show off their bodies but i feel like they're not really looking for anything serious because you know if you were like mm, i don't like that maybe they are but i personally mm, i'm a swipe you know it's a left for me second group of men that is always a left for me is men that have pictures of children on their profile now i know that sometimes they are given this tip by other men they tell them that women like this that it makes them feel it makes the women feel like they are like nice or they will be a good dad or they like children or da, 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 da. but it's a no for me because any man that doesn't understand that you know the internet is a dangerous place you know to put children in that they are like predators on the internet and yes also female predators as well not only male is a man that i want nothing to do with okay so if you have picture of children even if they're not your own actually it's even worse if they're someone else child like did you tell this person you found upload their child on the internet it's a no for me okay i don't care if you blur their face or something mm, 
for me it shows like a lack of discernment which very important if you're gonna be dating online okay the third thing that is a no for me is men who write hi hello you know mm -mm. it's not enough so like you you're not interested you, you're not fun to take me out to dinner no no you're not <laughs> i know you're not you're lying <laughs> okay like listen any man who is truly invested in getting to know you interested in you is not gonna write hi or hello you know they know it's just not gonna cut it anyone who write this is not is just not interested again we say this before we addressed this before but cut men who say anything sexual immediately you know if you're looking for a long-term relationship and you just started to talk to somebody you've never met them and they're talking about you know anything sexual take care you know so bye bye i personally say a week 10 days maximum two weeks if you don't ask me out on a date in real life eh, i'm unmatched you you know like i'm not looking for pen pals i feel like a lot of these men are just looking to ride back and forth with people forever you know they use this app as i guess i don't know for boredom for validation some women too you know i have done that i'm not even <laughs> fan of front but you know i'm not interested in any man that doesn't want to go in a real life date you know after a week 10 days usually 10 days i'm unmatching you i could do two weeks if you know you're out of town on a work trip or something but that that's the max i'm doing i'm not matching you period I, I don't have the time the energy yeah we, we're not doing that okay now obviously avoid men that have no bio i mean need i say more you know <laughs> just like you know you want to have a bio you want to talk to men that have a bio as well like i find that men who have no bio are not looking for anything serious okay they just upload a bunch of pictures themselves and that's it Clearly, they're just looking to hook up. And if that's what you're looking for as well, then I guess, obviously, match them. But if you're looking for a long-term serious relationship, I find that more time than not, these men are not looking for that. Like, I mean, if they were, they would care to write something, anything about themselves. You know, the fact that they didn't write nothing at all, you find a lot of these on Tinder. It goes to, yo, to show that, you know, they're looking for absolutely nothing. Okay, so swipe right at your own discretion. <laughs> also do not get discouraged you know if you don't meet someone like immediately understand that dating on and offline is a numbers game right you may have to go through a whole lot of whole lot of people before you find your person right so don't get discouraged if you join the app and do not meet someone like immediately understand it may take time you know be consistent you know try to be on the app I guess every day if not every day every second day and swipe you know for 10 to 15 minutes try to be responsive reactive take breaks this is so important you know if you feel like you're overwhelmed you're tired this is becoming a lot for you take a break for a couple of weeks for a couple of months you know as long as you need and then get back to it you know it's gonna require dedication you guys like i don't understand how this idea came about that finding you know someone with whom you're genuinely compatible is going to be easy i mean you know going to university and finding a really meaningful job that pays well isn't easy so and nothing worth having in life is easy so how did we come to this conclusion that finding a partner would be easy like i don't understand how we got there but i don't personally i never thought it would be easy but i know that it's feasible it's possible you know there are a lot of men online and out of all of those i'm sure there is one with whom you'd be compatible if you know you keep on going if you exercise discernment it's something that you're gonna need when dating on or offline obviously you know when i think of the women of the tinder swindler these girls lacked discernment you know dating anywhere you're gonna need discernment listen to your gut okay you know i have ignored my gut before never do that you know if you get a bad vibe about somebody don't try to rationalize it just listen to whatever inner energy you're getting and unmatch okay the name of this game is unmatch 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 you know definitely especially online you there's no need for the scarcity mindset there are so many you know men on there so just at the most tiny the minor inconvenience a match okay <laughs> like quick and in a hurry a match a match a match okay it's the name of the game <laughs> i hope that this video was helpful for you ladies i have been in long-term relationship off of dating apps before a four and a half years relationship and i'm confident that you know if i was to join any app right now it's not the area of my life i'm focusing on 
but i'm confident that if i was to join the apps i could find a partner in a matter of months okay like not weeks because you know we have standard over here but i'm sure in six months you know because i would be really consistent i'm sure i could find somebody right and I know that y'all can too if that is your goal let me know you know what do you think of dating apps do you think like you know they're the gutter absolutely terrible like a lot of people say or do you think that you know it is like me that it is actually possible to find a partner there you know if you are consistent enough and most of all if you give it time you know dating online needs time <laughs> period if you enjoyed this video do not forget to give it a thumbs up in the comment section down below let me know you know did you find a partner online you know what do you think of dating apps do not forget to subscribe to my channel as well and i will talk to you soon bye guys Mwah.